Guys, quickly before we do hop into this video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to AOA.com for sponsoring this Rocket League video. This website gives flexibility to every single platform. If you want to buy and sell loads of different Rocket League items, they do massive deals on there. And use code Zenic at checkout and get yourself a 3% off your orders. So guys, just from using this one simple method and selling the Dracos and getting myself these heat waves, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make profit every single time selling any item in the game. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today, I'm bringing you guys a brand new Rocket League video in today's video. I'm going to be showing you guys episode 5 of the brand new series going from nothing all the way up to the titanium white solar flare. So as a lot of you guys will know, the Rocket Pass 2 is coming out in literally two days time, which is honestly insane. And there's a lot of people getting scared of the market as well, with loads of different people trying to quick sell their items. So pretty much today's episode is going to be showing you guys what you need to buy and what you need to sell. But if you guys are new to the channel or if you haven't seen this series in general, make sure to click the link in the description. What that link will do is take down to a massive place where you can pretty much watch all the other episodes so you can see where I've come from. And if you guys do want to see some daily uploads on the channel, because when the update drops of the Rocket Pass, I'm going to be streaming and daily uploading. So guys, if you do want to see that, literally just crush that like button, support me and support the channel. And if we hit 300 likes in the very first 24 hours, and I can make that happen. And if you guys haven't already, do yourself and do me a favour and hit that red subscribe button right now and turn on those post notifications so you can pretty much keep up to date with every single brand new Rocket League video I am uploading to the channel. And with all of that being said, let's get straight into the trades. I hope you guys enjoy. So the very first trade of this whole episode is basically me just trade sniping once again, finding myself some incredible deals by offering on every single person's post, just saying I've got keys and I want offers, because that is the main thing that people want at the moment. People want keys so much because the Rocket Pass last time changed the market completely. Literally everyone was just wanting keys to open up the Rocket Pass tiers. So the same thing's pretty much happening again, and I don't mind selling my keys purely for the fact if I'm sniping stuff like right now, I'm picking up a Saffron Draco and some per and a Purple Octane and getting it for nine keys, which is honestly insane. Like the Purple Octane, I can probably get seven. Saffron Draco is maybe six or seven. So that's nearly double profit, which is honestly insane. So that is something I can suggest. Keys are going to be really good when the Rocket Pass comes out. But if you are sniping deals like this, make sure you do it every single time. And then once again, I just updated my post just saying that I've got the Saffron Dracos and the Purple Octane and I'm looking for offers. You just want to say you're looking for offers but on every single item that you've got. Because if you ask for a specific amount, it's going to be quite hard to get. Obviously, you won't get anyone. And then if you go too low... You might sell it very easily. So you just want to put offers, wait in the middle, and then eventually when you, get, when you get that good offer, just take it. But every single time, I can suggest as well that you've got like a bad halo or like medium to bad. Just sell it for one key. That's what I do here with the saffron halo. I just get myself a key because that's what I've been looking for for a while. And colors like burnt sienna, orange, pink, stuff like that. You just want to grab a key. And especially because the rocket pass is coming out very soon. Just make sure to get yourself keys and stack them for the rocket pass. But then to slightly contradict myself, I managed to find myself a guy that had crimson dracos. And he was trying to quick sell them. He said that he wanted 20 keys, but I know I could knock that down. So I slapped a 15 key offer, which is honestly a bit of a low ball. But, but the fact that everyone wants keys at the moment is... Honestly, okay, I'll just ma I'll literally just make sure I offer on every post, just saying, obviously, the lowest I could do, and then slightly increase every time. So I got offered that, and then he's pretty much said, no, I would need at least 17. I said 16, and you've got a deal. I said, uh, and then he pretty much just said NTY. I came back to him a little bit later on, just saying, all right, I can do the 17. Because I know in my head, even though they're PCC, I guarantee I can get a lot more than 17. So I'll happily take that trade right there, getting some profit. And then eventually I managed to find myself a buyer that wanted to get the purple octane, which honestly took such a long time. Just for the fact I started regretting buying all of the Dracos and Octanes because they're starting to get quite hard to sell. Literally, purely for the fact that the Rocket Pass is coming out soon. Everyone just wants keys at the moment. So if you are looking on a look of a group, literally just offer some low offers. And most of the time you'll probably get it just for the fact that everyone wants keys. And obviously people like sometimes can't afford to just buy keys off the store. So they have to trade for the keys. So that is why you can take advantage of that and manage to get yourself some insane trades. Like I do right here, I get myself a slipstream for this purple octane, which is pretty insane. That's like a 7 or 8 key offer, so I'll happily take that trade right there, getting a slipstream mystery decal. But then I saw a very weird post on the Xbox looking for Greep. He said he had free mystery gold explosion and he wanted free keys. So I was like, okay, I might take the risk. You know, he might have free dueling dragons there. I highly doubt it. But he invited me to the game. I was like, okay, if there's anything that's not tuned in there, I will just tick up instantly. So if it's like anything, so even if it's two tunes and any other gold explosion, I will just tick up because every single time you're paying one key for something that is not tuned, you are making profit every single time. No matter if it's the fireworks, you can get yourself two keys for the fireworks pretty easily. And eventually, 
I ticked up. He was like, yeah, I can do all of this, which is two tunes, which is obviously the two keys. And then it's pretty much me paying one key for that firework. So I honestly don't mind taking that trade. And then after what literally feels like a year, I managed to find myself a guy that wanted to buy the forest green reactors purely for the fact he had a forest green car and he wanted them to buy, obviously, for his car. And that is fair enough. You know, you find people that want to buy items for their cars and so you can obviously take advantage of that. See what they've got in their inventory and if there's anything that you like the fancy of or if there's anything that's worth a little bit more just honestly take the trade every time and i'm actually find myself this guy he said he doesn't really use the octane he uses other cars as well so he could just give me the lime octane for the forest green reactors and i'm not going to be complaining like i said before the octanes are a bit harder to sell but the fact that i can like flip a load of profit out of this and get myself five or six keys for the octane i happily take that trade and then once again i managed to find myself a trade right here i find so many people quick selling their items on the xbox looking for group and if you're paying a low offer every time just think about the profit you're going to be making. If you can flip the if you can flip the items that you're buying very quickly, like I do with this purple oxen, I managed to pick it up for five keys. And last time I sold it for a slip, a certified slip that you see right there. So every single time I'm just going to be buying and selling the octanes. That's the best thing you can do as well, especially with the hype of the rocket pass update coming out very soon. There's just so many people wanting to get keys, and I've already got so many keys on my main, so I don't even care about buying all of these items. Obviously, on this nothing something. So like I said before, and I've said so many times, I do not mind doing this trade at all, just for the fact I know I can get myself profit. And then we come across the big trade of the whole episode, where I pretty much sell my items and get myself heat waves, which is very debatable, because at the moment I've pretty much been slacking off heat waves, no one really wants them, but then, in my head, I just thought, okay, I need to just be logical about this, because every single person on the Xbox looking for group is offering around 13 to 14 keys, so it just seems like a safe bet to go, because... I really cannot see heat going down any more than it already is because 13 keys for heat just seems so cheap especially the fact that all the other BMDs would have to drop in price as well I just honestly cannot see that happening at all so I just honestly just do not mind taking this trade right here selling my PCC Crimson and my PCC Saffron Dracos and getting myself two heat waves and then as predicted I managed to get myself a decent trade right here and getting myself this heat wave sold did not take long at all. I just kept on listing on the Xbox looking for group. Just saying that I've got Heatwave and I want nothing less than 14 keys. And then eventually I managed to find myself a guy. There's so many people as well offering 13. So if you do have a Heat and you want to quick sell it and get items quickly. Just probably take the 13. But honestly you can get 14. Just wait a little bit of time and you eventually find someone. Obviously like I said before. Heatwave has dropped in popularity a lot. It used to be the biggest thing on Xbox. But it's pretty sad now how it's dropped so much in value. Especially to keys being announced as well. It's just dropped in demand a low, so I do not mind taking this trade, getting myself 14 keys for the heatwave. And then with the huge popularity of the purple octane, I managed to find myself a trade pretty easily here, getting myself a grey octane and ads as well. Like, I can't complain about this. The grey octane is the exact same price on the spreadsheet, so if I'm getting ads, it's just going to be profit every time. It might be lower in demand, but I do not mind doing this trade at all, because the grey octane, I pretty much find it pretty as easy to sell as the purple octane, because... A lot of people want to get white octane, but there's so many scammers, and not even that as well. It's just a white octane is worth like 130 keys. So not every single trader is going to have the chance to get a white octane. So getting a grey octane, I do not mind doing this trading, especially with getting the one key add as well to the grey octane. That is some insane profit. So that is the final trade of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Honestly, we made so much profit today. Buying and selling the painted octanes. And also as well, I hope you guys have learned that the keys are going to be very crucial in the next week when the new rocket parts drops. And for the fact that keys are going to be so high in demand, if you guys just want to make profit as well, just try and buy and sell items that you guarantee that you're going to be able to sell. Because if you're buying stuff that's going to be really hard to sell, you're just going to be stuck with it. And no one's going to be wanting it until, obviously, the rocket pass died down a little bit. But even so, you just want to either keep hold of your keys and just wait for the rocket pass. Or just sell them and try and get yourself some easy to sell items. But if all of these tips weren't enough, just make sure to comment down below. Telling me an item that you've got in your inventory that you are trying to sell. And I can try and help you out with getting you a rough value of what you need to try and sell it for. For either keys or crates or anything like that. If I do not reply to your YouTube comment, just message me on Xbox or DM me on Twitter. Every single link that you do need is found in the description. And I think that's pretty much everything covered for this video. So if you guys do want to see me buy the whole entire Rocket Pass and showcase it on the channel as soon as possible, make sure to crush that like button right now. 300 likes and I can make that happen. And if you guys haven't already, subscribe and turn on the notification if you guys are new. And I'll see you guys next time.